If your vehicle is equipped with the automatic drive positioner feature, it's located on the driver's side door. With the automatic drive positioner, you're able to set and store two separate positions of the driver's seat, steering column, and outside mirrors. To do so, follow these steps. First, set the shift selector to the P or Park position. Then, place the ignition in the on position. Third, adjust the driver's seat, steering column, and outside mirrors to the desired positions by manually operating each adjusting switch. Next, push the set switch and within five seconds, push the memory switch one or two for at least one second. The indicator light for the pushed memory switch will come on and stay on for about five seconds to let you know it is stored. The previous memory will be deleted when the new setting is stored. Repeat this procedure for the second driver position. You can also link the stored memory position to a key fob. First, create a stored memory position. Then, during the final step when the indicator light for the memory switch being set is illuminated for five seconds, press the unlock button on the key fob. For a second driver, repeat this procedure using the other key fob. If your vehicle is equipped with the entry exit function, the driver's seat will slide backward and the steering wheel will move up when the driver's door is opened with the ignition switch in the locked position. The driver's seat and steering wheel will return to the previous positions when one of the following is operated. When the ignition switch is pushed to the ACC position after the driver's door is closed, or when the ignition switch is pushed to the on position. If you would like to cancel the entry exit function, push and hold the set switch for 10 seconds. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating information.